about <laughs> Dr. Christine Waters. Um, tell me a little bit about some of those little known facts. Well, you're a mathematician, mm -hmm. and we know that people sort of think that mathematicians are very boring. Have you <laughs> any stories that, or any things that influenced you that made you say, I'm not going to be a bo I'm going to be this live wire? <laughs> um, I, well, first of all, I think it's hard to be bored in my family because they, 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 they keep you, yes, they keep you on your toes, they keep things interesting. But um, there is one particular story that I have. Um, when I started university, um, the undergraduate program, and I was in the process of registering for my courses. So I'm fresh out of high school and trying to figure my way out around on campus. And I needed to get a signature from somebody in the department, whether it's a department head or somebody. And I went and I saw someone looking at just what I would say eccentric, looking a little bit eccentric. And I asked, I inquired about the head of the department, but I was told that he could sign. And so I saw him signing. And um, I was looking uh, with some interest at this, this gentleman, as a gentleman, and he looked, as I said, a little bit eccentric. And I thought to myself at that point, okay, is this the picture of a mathematician? You know, he's a lecturer mm -hmm. um, on campus, and I said, okay, I do not want to look like, if this is what it's going to take to be a mathematician, somehow I need to break that. And I really, I really made a conscious decision at that point to balance my life um, in such a way that I, I would excel in school, uh, make sure that I did all the work that I needed to do, but also make time for everything else. Mm -hmm. and, and that meant making time for my faith, my, my religion, going to church, uh, my family, and fun stuff, you know, things to, to, to make sure that you have a balanced life, and to sleep and to eat and everything, you know. Um, so all of that was a conscious decision going in at about, I don't remember what age I was when about I started. 18, 19. Yeah, they were about starting, starting university. And I said, no, that's, that's not going to be me. And I believe you joined the University Singers at your very I, I did, I yeah. did. I spent about 10 years with University Singers. And that was maybe one of the best experiences that I've, I've had in my life. Um, we toured. Right. Went to other countries? Went, we went to the Caribbean, um, I went to the UK, to the US, and missed the Canada tours for some reason. I think they, have, they went the year before I, I joined. Um, but the, the, the fun tours were particularly the Caribbean tours. Because even though you know, going to the US, so you, know, you can go to sh get, get some shopping done. Of course, you know, there was always, we always begged for a little time to do some shopping. You know, um, in between the shows and in between rehearsing for the shows, we said, okay, can we just get at least a five hours here to, to, to shop? But particularly the Caribbean tours were, were fun. Mm -hmm. A reason being, you went and you saw people who looked like you, but then you noticed maybe some little differences. You know, a lot of similarities in terms of the food, but still some differences. Um, I remember my, my best tours were to St. Lucia. I love St. Lucia. I have been wanting to go back. Um, I liked Barbados. I mean, I liked all the I liked all the the, 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 the Caribbean countries. But um, I remember St. Lucia, and there was a little liming spot because if you know anything about singers, we love to lime. If nothing else, and, and I think that really kept me balanced um, because I was doing that while I was was in school, yeah. and and so the the liming sessions. We work hard, we're on stage, and we're very serious and very stable when, you know, when, when it comes to performing. And we didn't have a choice with our proper nettle pod behind you and mm -hmm. um, Mr. Dexter, no, Dr. Dexter behind you. You really didn't have a choice but to, to take the performance seriously. But then when it came to letting our hair grow, and, and so on, we really had a good time lining. So um, I really do have fond memories. And you also had the um Sometimes spent with Mar people like Marjorie Wiley. Sure, and, yes. sure. Where was that? Well, those were earlier years when I was in vibrations. Okay. I think I mentioned that uh -huh. before. But um, I was on a TV program when I was here at Andrews mm -hmm. um, between first and fourth form. And um, Marjorie Wiley was our musician. So she would be in the studio. We did a little bit of everything. Um, I remember I was sort of in charge of a Did You Know feature. 
and um, which okay, my mom probably did most of the, <laughs> the research for that. But um, I did a little feature where we would just come up with fun facts. I would look through the encyclopedia, I would listen on the news to see, you know, if, if anything exciting was happening, and I would come and say, Did you know that? you know, and that was my did you know right. feature. Marjorie Wiley was our, our um, musician mm -hmm. and um, so she we would sit around the piano and she would be teaching us some songs and you know we're just singing along really? and clapping and, and, and that was that was really really fun at the time. Yeah. Um, I think one of the things that that experience did for me um, was to take me out of my shell. Yeah. I was I think a little shy before. Mm -hmm. I think I still am a little bit, mm -hmm. but I, I think it certainly took me out of my, my shell um, and, and gave me a lot of exposure. Um, you know, we did a, a lot of different tours and stuff like that. So um, definitely, I got love. Um, a lot of. A little bird tells me that you like cooking. Yes, I like it. Relaxes me. Yeah, what's your dishes? Say, what's your favorite dish? Well, I just recently learned to do a little Chinese. <laughs> Not that great, but a little Chinese. So now I'm master of um, the sweet and sour chicken, and I can do a chow mein and so on. But I, I, I tend to do just local dishes, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. um, I'll do my stew pork. Mm -hmm. um, so you entertain a lot? You like entertaining? You know, not as much. I, <laughs> I like to be entertained. Um, I don't know if I entertain as much, because it takes a lot of work. Yeah. Um, but, but whenever I do, I put everything into it. Right. So I don't do it frequently. But I, whenever I do, I just you know try to go right. all of it. So how do you see the future now? You see yourself mm -hmm. staying in academia? Yes, or, I or do. Getting married, having children. Getting or? married, you know. Um, right Not now, ready yet. <laughs> well, um, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> getting married, and um, I well, I, I I enjoy my nieces and nephew right now. And so right now that's very fulfilling. Um, so I would like to have my own family. That would that would be great. Um, future wise, academia certainly plays a will play a, a key role. Um, I'd love to advance through the system and become Professor Walter. That would be nice. <laughs> um, but I'm pacing myself and taking you know taking it one day at a time. Um, it is a lot of work because to become professor you have to write and write and write and. I am a mathematician, yeah. so it's. <laughs> but you I, do your research, so you I have do, things actually, to do I to write about. I love research, yes. and, and ironically, I love research, and I will keep reading and everything. But you know, sometimes just putting that pen to paper to write, I, I must admit, is not the, it's not the easiest thing. And if you speak to a lot of the persons who are professors now, um, they're they're seasoned at writing now, but they would admit to having maybe a rough start. So. I take comfort in that. I say, okay, at least they uh, they had a little rough start, so you know I'm I'm, I'm okay with my rough start, and I'm taking it once upon a time. And right now, I'm doing some some good research with some some key researchers, mm -hmm. and um, so I'm excited about some of, of those projects coming up, mm -hmm. and um, so looking forward to, to doing that. Finally, Christine, what advice would you give our current day students? about preparing for the world of work and mm -hmm. careers. What is it that has made you successful? Um, well, you certainly need to have a plan. You know, it's even, even at a young age. Um, I remember when I first started music lessons and I was maybe five. Um, so I didn't have a plan then, but I remember my, my music teacher saying to my dad that, you know, I think she'll be good at math. And I think helping to, well, even if you don't have someone helping you to figure out what you are um, inclined to do or what you are purpose to do, I think if you look within yourself and you um, say, well, you know, I like this subject, I, I like history, I like um, English, I like accounting or whatever, um, I think if you dig deep within yourself and, and figure out what um, excites you or you know what you find fun at school um, then that's that's the first step to figuring out okay this might be something that I need to look into for the future um, and it might come in different forms you know so as a math even though I recognize the, 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 the my, my love for math if you want to call it that um, 
I could have taken different routes. I just could happened to, I could, yes, I could have gone to music, I could have um, gone engineering, you know, if I, if I chose that as a field. So, a lot of it has to do with your exposure, um, but I think even within yourself, even if you don't have someone else pointing to, to, out to you, then I think you can figure out what it is that, that, you, that you love. And stick with it, focus, and don't forget the important things in life. Um, for me, as I said, my faith, my family, and keeping a balance with fun and, and other passions um, has helped. So I think for me, um, that has been my, that's been my key. Well, Dr. Christine Walters, it's been a pleasure talking Thank to you today, you. and I wish you continued success you. in your mm -hmm. world at the University of the West Indies. Thank, Thank you. you so much for coming into the Emory James Museum today. It was my pleasure. Thank you. Mm -hmm.